Welcome, Ridge family. Glad you're tuned in for the midweek update. Reminder, this coming Sunday at 930, we will be live streaming the worship service, and you can catch us on Facebook or YouTube. So if you're uncomfortable still getting out, we encourage you to join us again by way of live stream. Encourage others as well to join in and worship. Here on campus, we'll be having the 8 o'clock, 930, and the 1050 service and we're again trying to give time in between each service to sanitize and to clean everything and just to remind you we're doing everything we can to make sure we have a safe clean environment so we just want you to know that this coming sunday we'll be continuing our series on the parables and i've kind of started a little mini series inside of that series on the parables about what to do while we're waiting for the second coming of the lord so the first part of matthew 25 jesus gives signs about his second coming and then the middle of chapter 24 through chapter 25 he gives a series of five parables on what we're to do while we're waiting for the second coming and so this week we'll be looking at the third of those five parables the parable of the ten virgins and that's in matthew 25 1 through 13. so hope you have a chance to just read it ahead of time prepare your heart for the message and we look forward to sharing that this coming sunday also this sunday we're going to be celebrating communion at the end of each service and we will have the pre-packaged juice and wafers and we'll be giving those out as you enter into the sanctuary if you're going to be watching by home you can either prepare your own elements or you're welcome to call the church office either thursday or friday and just come by and we will give you as many communion cups as you need so again that'll be this sunday at the end of the service we'll be celebrating communion together what a great time just to remember the ultimate gift of, of god is that lord jesus died on the cross so that you and i could spend an eternity with him it's always a great celebration to enjoy communion also this sunday we're going to be taking up a special offering there's a young lady named sarah and her son journey they came to staff meeting this week dina clubunde has been working with her and just having bible study it's a young lady just really trying to get on her feet trying to make some headway and she has a trailer just really literally right up the street from the church maybe two or three minutes and it just needs some repairs for her and her son and so Josh uh, Ross is kind of heading up that project. And so if you would be willing to put in some time and some elbow grease, we're trying to do some projects with flooring and a few different things, trying to get it livable. And so the trailer would be hers so she wouldn't have to pay rent. So it really is a great opportunity for us as a church to step up and to really provide and help this young lady. Really has a great heart. She's very humble very thankful and so again our goal is twenty five hundred dollars and we believe that'll be enough to get her in the trailer and do the repairs that's needed so again if you're not going to come sunday and you want to give an offering you want to send an offering just put sarah on the envelope and we will know where to put that offering so we're excited during this COVID 19 as we're kind of everything is shut down it's kind of exciting to have a mission project just right up the street that we can really get behind and do something special for this young lady and her son. So we hope that you'll join us in that effort. We hope to have the actual pictures this Sunday of, of uh, Sarah and Journey and also the mobile home as well that we're working on. So that'll be this Sunday. So pray about that. We're, as we go through the month of August, we're still requiring masks at the 8 o'clock service. Again, I know there's a lot of different opinions about it. Some people are just uncomfortable with the idea of wearing masks. Other people on the other side are uncomfortable not wearing masks. So we are trying to provide one service where people, if that's something that's important to you, we want you to know at the 8 o'clock service, we're going to try to require everybody to wear masks. The 930 and 1050, still optional. So again, you can choose what you're most comfortable with, and we're going to continue that through the month of August. We are needing some nursery workers for the 1050 service, and we're hoping on August 23rd, as we start Sunday school, to provide a, a child care during the 1050 service. And I know nursery is one of those things, no matter what size the church is, it seems like it's always hard to get nursery workers. And I know people feel like, well, I've, I've done my time and so forth. 
But I just want to encourage you. You know, children were so special to Jesus when he walked this earth. I mean, he just longed to, to hold these infants and reach out and touch and bless them. And remember, he compared the kingdom of God to a small child. I want to encourage you to pray about working in the nursery and, and calling Robin. And if everybody would just sign up, we probably only have to work every six months, which would be no big deal. And it really is a blessing. One thing we are asking, just so you know up front, that if you're changing a diaper or working with young children while you're changing the diaper or feeding the child, we are asking all the nursery workers to wear a mask. And again, it's just for the protection. We're trying to go above and beyond what maybe would be necessary just so the parents know we're doing everything we can to protect those children. And if you're a nursery worker or a greeter, and we're asking all the staff to check the temperature as they come in every week, we're not asking that of everyone who comes for worship, but if you are a greeter or if you're a nursery worker, we are gonna ask you to check your temperature. We have several of these that are, are non-touch. You just hold them up and check your temperature. Mine just happens to be 98.1 right at the moment. So again, we're trying to do that just so you guys know when you come to campus, we're doing everything we can to make it safe. But if you'll be willing to work in the nursery once in the next three months, call Robin, let her know that you would be willing to do that. We would appreciate it. Again, a couple target dates. Next Wednesday, August 12th, we're beginning to start up our Wednesday night program again. All the youth and adults, we're all going to meet together here in the sanctuary. The youth are going to be leading out, so it'll be a great time to gather together. So that's next Wednesday, August 12th. A reminder, on Sunday, August 23rd, we're planning on starting Sunday school again. Now, there may be a few adult classes that still want to take some time, and that's okay. So you take whatever time you need. You also, maybe you're a class and you don't want to meet on Sunday morning, your class is too small, you may choose to meet on a Wednesday night where you have more and bigger rooms where you can meet. So again, you decide what's best for you, but we're going to try on Sunday, August 23rd to start Sunday school back up, and we're also going to try to have some donuts, all right? And many people have been asking, when are we going to have donuts? Our goal is August 23rd. Third. We'll probably be serving them a little bit different, a little bit safer, but that's our target date, August 23rd. A reminder to pray every night at 8 p.m. If you can just take one minute out of your busy schedule, let's join together to pray for our country as we navigate through this time. And even though, again, it seems like everything is so crazy out here, I believe God has everything under control. And I think if we'll join together and pray for our country, Pray for our president, pray for our leadership in Congress, the Senate, and just pray that God would give everybody wisdom, that we could lay aside all the political differences, and let's focus on what's best for our country. So join us every evening, 8 o'clock, just wherever you are. Let's join together to pray for our country. And I want to take a minute and just pray for you. Again, a reminder, if you need someone to talk to, just need some encouragement, don't hesitate to call 636-388-8771. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for the exciting times that we're going through. And Lord, it's just so beyond what I can wrap my mind around. And yet I know you have everything completely under control. So I just pray for each one who's listening. I pray that you would reach down and just fill each one with your spirit. Give us an unusual boldness to just live and everywhere we go that people would see there's something about us. There's a peace. There's a joy that cannot be explained other than you. So Father, I just pray for healing, for encouragement, that Lord, you would just right now just uh, touch those who are listening. I pray again that you would use us to make a difference everywhere we go this week. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you guys will hit the like, hit the share, get word out. We hope to see you this Sunday, either in person or by way of, of live stream. Love you guys.